This is the real Tom Rose, and we're solving a problem here that, gosh, seems really challenging. Um, we want a positive even integer, which is already sort of an odd constraint. And we want the product of it and it plus 2 to be one of the answer choices. And we simply don't have good tools for handling this problem. So if you read this and you think, gosh, I have no idea what to do here, you are not alone. And in fact, there isn't a standard set of good tools for solving this problem. Everyone who, who solves this problem is asked to do something clever to, to figure out a way to solve it. So you're not alone in that camp. Um, I think there is one realization here that can be very useful which is the number of results that you get from multiplying positive even integers together is not that many. So the way that I'm going to handle this problem is actually I'm just going to make a list of positive even integers. The number two plus two larger than that and then the product. And this actually isn't going to take very long because there aren't too many of these. So let's just make a list two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and I think that's going to be enough. n plus 2, of course, will be that number plus 2. So 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And then let's look at the product. And if you feel more comfortable, you can use a calculator to do these. Um, 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 6 is 24. 6 times 8 is 48. 8 times 10 is 80. And boom, we've got our answer right there. If you kept going, we'll see 10 times 12 is 120, and 12 times 14 is 168. So just by going up to 12 on the end column, we already have numbers which are bigger than the highest answer choice. So there's, you actually have to do six calculations to do the whole list. So best to just write it out, get the answer B.